It's beautiful for me, like it's super inspiring and it gives me hope and humanity to see it when people are using their, their skill and their expertise uh, for something good. That's all she ever thinks about, riding with the wheel. At Exponential Medicine and Singularity University, it's not just about talking about the future, it's actually about creating it. You know, particularly in the healthcare space, it's not really about the technology. Technology is just an enabler. It's really an integration of people, technologies, ideas, synergies, workshops, demos, where we can not only see what's on the cutting edge today, but where things will be in the next very near future. AI, robotics, 3D printing, network, sensors, computational power, the stuff that's gonna be disrupting the entire healthcare industry this decade. I wanna encourage you to you know, let your guard down, really take advantage of everything that's here, say yes to all the opportunities. We need everybody's perspective on this. This is not something that's just gonna affect the scientists or the doctors or you know, the professionals uh, that are working in the area. It's just gonna affect everybody. These technologies are gonna unleash a whole new era of ways in which we can intervene in the body. Changes all around us, it can happen all the time. You've got technology just going at some unbelievable pace. The rate of change is going so fast that most large companies cannot keep up with it. We need not to be scared of failure. We need always to be willing to fail in order to try things that are high risk, high gain. I think one of the biggest changes coming up is this promise of more connectivity, of having all these devices and things integrate with each other. If we start using common tools for collecting information, that's the, gonna be the Moore's Law of Medicine that's gonna drive exponential change. So as we think about you know, blending you know, some of these amazing worlds, AI, 3D printing, robotics, big data, telepresence, I don't think we want to lose sight of the element of the human touch. And every single one of you, whether you know it or not, today you've been part of my new and different life, and I thank you for that. Everyone's got a voice. Everyone's got a story. Everyone's got something to offer. Come along. Just see what happens. I think the question is, how do we all get together and solve the big problems that humanity is facing? And I guess that's an optimistic enterprise, just to even think about things that way. And Singularity really takes that approach and really cares. Well, whether you're a physician, whether you're a patient, whether you're a technologist, an engineer, I'm a scientist, this is the place for everybody. It's, 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 it's a space where everybody gets to see something. My accident happened two years ago, so I'm trying to figure out how do I take my last two years of knowledge and do something constructive with it? And going to a conference like this and talking to guys like Daniel Kraft are really valuable in helping me think through ways I can leverage myself going forward. You need to think about what your motivations are. What do you want to do with your career, with your life? What type of people do you want to connect with? And if you see yourself as being the type of person who wants to reach out into that unknown space, into the darkness and create something with a little bit of light, um, this is for sure, I think, the perfect place to make that happen. Is this a universe you could have imagined? Uh, this is totally what I imagined. I, I, I didn't expect to have to wait 15 years to start to get there. It's absolutely vital to have meetings like this that bring people together who don't normally spend enough time together. I'm sure you're really good scientists, but you need to work on clapping in time. <laughs> We've seen all sorts of amazing collaborations come out of here, new companies that get started, new job opportunities, and, and just great new friendships. And I think Exponential Medicine should be credited for having the vision and to bring these people together and then allowing people like me to come in and openly interact with them. It's always really refreshing to see people that are really passionate about what they're doing and doing it for the betterment of people, of the world, of medicine. So I think by coming together with folks from across the spectrum, physicians, nurses, patients, biotech folks, pharma folks, payers, you know, we can reframe, rethink, and reimagine the future of health and medicine. <laughs>